All right, hey guys, Cvac Zero doing another RD two O. Uh, but it is not a group stage cast, it's the playoffs guys. Round 1, it's the Bears versus some Tidehunters. These are a pair of EST teams going right at it. I think some Tidehunters finished second in the group. The Bears, I, I think, might have finished uh, first. Either that or they flip-flopped. Uh, regardless, the Bears, it, this is Pokebunny's team, man. Uh, Pokebunny is a former StarCraft player. Uh, so he's kind of famous. Uh, All Smiles is on some Tyne Hunters. Uh, he's a guy I, I co-casted with. Probably my, my first co-caster, actually. Uh, but speaking of co-casters, I have one with me today. Go ahead and introduce yourself, man. Hi, guys. It's Jonah. I'm eating pretzels. Eating pretzels. All right. <laughs> so professional, man. Uh, but Jonah yeah, okay. is... Uh, I, I, I was finishing that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no problem. No problem. Just making fun of you, man. Just making fun of you. And uh, Jonah, he, he's on propane. Um, you guys are actually in the playoffs as well, but you guys got a lucky buy. Is that it? Uh, it seems like it. I mean, the team we were supposed to be playing supposedly disbanded, and I think we were first in East too, and we had no stand-ins. Oh, that's that's pretty hilarious. Or, yeah, EST. Yeah, well, anyways, uh, we should go ahead and jump into the draft. So the Bears, they go with a very interesting first pick Razor and uh, combo with the Weaver. Of course, Weaver, as I, in my opinion, one of the high-level picks. Um, but the Razor first pick, uh, but that's that's mostly to counter to to the OD. First pick and Razor, is, is that, like, the thing you should do? Like, instant first pick if you see a first pick OD? It depends if you think they're, like, if you see them, like target banning things to keep OD, you know, safe in the mid lane, then I would say yes, but if you see no legit target bans, then I would say you don't really have to rush him first pick. <clears throat> yeah, so some tide, uh, well, the picks are flying out, and some tide hunters, they're going for the AoE combo. Uh, of course, you have that Dark Seer into the Sanity's Eclipse, and also you can throw on an uh, Acid Spray and keep them in there with the Unstable Concoction. I so far like some tight hunters uh, lineup. They can also go for scrappy fights. Uh, Alchemist with the Shadow Blade can definitely wreak havoc on the on the Bears team. Yeah, I think both teams already have a consensus of what they want to do. The Bears team it seems to already picked up their picks like instantly, so they already have their strategy in mind. And some tight hunters seem to have the same idea. Yeah, so for the Bears, uh, I have scrimmed against them a couple times. I've watched them play a couple times as well. Uh, one thing I do know is they like to go for that early mid-game aggression. Uh, they like to dive towers, get some kills. And, you know, Weaver is that hero if you want to do that. And, uh, you know, the Shadow Demon Lena combo, that's that's pretty scary uh, uh, roaming duo if they, if they so choose to have roaming supports. Yeah, Lena's actually, I actually really love Lena. She, her burst is really strong. Uh, and in, in this in this, uh, in this this matchup, Lena's actually really strong against OD too. Getting rid of him really quickly is ideal. Same with Darkseer, like with almost anyone. High priority, Lena's really good at getting rid of them quickly. Yeah, for sure. And even Alchemist will be struggling to, to stay alive uh, because he's a bit squishy early on. And, you know, when his HP is low, and especially when he's not in his chemical rage form, uh, that Laguna Blade is is damage that you can't just laugh off. And uh, some Titan Hunters, they go with the Warlock pick, and they're going almost all in with this uh, AoE teamfight uh, combination. Fatal Bonds, I think, is one of the most OP skills out there. And if you land everything perfectly, don't expect anybody from the Bears to survive. Maybe Weaver. Maybe Weaver. Yeah, Fatal Bonds, uh, it's a great ability, though you can actually still Healing Salve and heal throughout it, it doesn't really stop anything, I don't think it stops Dagger either. Yeah, I but don't think it does. it's a really strong spell, yeah, it's a really strong spell, and and I I think that uh, some Tidehunter and the Bears have almost completely different lineups because of what they want to do, so it should be interesting. Yeah, for some Tidehunters though, um, they're going to run the Warlock as a support role Warlock. This is going to be difficult, uh, especially if the Bears decide to run the aggressive tri-lane. Warlock doesn't, I, I mean he adds a bit, uh, but he has to also get pretty lucky with the Fatal Bonds. He has to make sure it hits like, not only the heroes, but like a creep wave as well. And he's going to need levels in it. it, it it'll, it'll be a struggle for him to get to that level 3 uh, early on. Yeah, Warlock, uh, Warlock support to me is an ideal. Like, I, I wouldn't mind Warlock mid if you have like a specific plan set for him. But support Warlock is isn't gonna give you as much as like you know mid Warlock. Yeah, I agree. And uh, so the Bears, 
Um, what do they need? They need that carry roll. Of course, they can always move Weaver there. Uh, Nyx is actually banned out. Um, what's what other carries are out there? There's PL. I don't I don't think PL kind of fits in this lineup. Um, Juggernaut. Juggernaut yeah, is excellent. <clears throat> Yeah, Jug's at, Jug's pretty strong, but uh, like OD is actually pretty decent against Jug, Darkseer, Alchemist. Like they're, they're kind of tanky. Like OD can just disrupt himself if he uh, gets Omni Slash. I don't know if they're gonna want Jug or not. Like I can't. Maybe like a troll. Troll wouldn't be terrible. Ooh, troll would be pretty good. Um, who else is a possibility for the? Or even like a Drow. Drow, yeah. Like a Drow Ranger works. Uh, could I mean Drow say. Ranger? Also, I mean. She adds a lot of early game damage, mid game damage, of course, and could of course uh, push pretty easily. Her aura stack is pretty amazing. They go with super aggression, Timbersaw. So they're probably going to run. Are they going to run an aggressive tri lane with the Timbersaw, or just leave the Timbersaw off lane? Uh, you're gonna like. I think you definitely want to get the level, so I think it'd be off lane Timber, tri lane. Try lane Weaver, or they could put Weaver against OD. Weaver against OD isn't like it's terrible, terrible. Well, I. But um, <laughs> I'll see what they do. I mean, they do have the Razor, so I think it's. I mean, they they pick the Razor specifically to counter OD, so I don't I don't see that happening. Um, but. Uh, um, yeah, but I think it also would benefit them to if they aggro try. They're gonna need a. They're gonna need the Weaver or the Razor, one of the two. They're probably just think the Weaver, I think. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and introduce the players on some Titan. It's Struzer, the captain, uh, playing the CM on the Dark Seer. It's going to be Flip Flops and Eggplants on the mid OD. It's going to be I Grew, I, I grew and uh, Alchemist. He's being played by the Stand In Bigat. And finally, All Smiles, uh, one of my good friends on the Warlock. Alright, we got uh, on the bear side, we have uh, Shen. Shenanana on uh, Timber. We have, uh, <laughs> let me see, my mouse is dripping out. Uh, no Hero on Razor. We've got Grand Duke of Owls on Lena. We got Daydream on Shadow Demon. And we have Pokebunny on Weaver. Pokebunny, yep. And then, so, I mean, last pick team, I actually really like this pickup. Um, the reason is they lack so much early game, and they don't really have a way of uh, countering the Weaver. I mean, yeah, they don't really have that lockdown Sunday. Of course, they do have that unstable concoction to a certain extent. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can uh, time lapse out of a frostbite. Is that correct? Yeah, I think you can. I think you time. When I think about it, I think you can, but I'm not certain how it works with roots because frostbite is technically a root. I think. Yeah, it is something but, like that. Um, you, you can still cast your spells. To. Yeah, you can still cast your spells. Yeah. Um, but Crystal Maiden, I, I like this pickup. They will be starved a bit on mana early on. Uh, level uh, and and what I really like is if the bears decide to run the aggressive tri lane, um, then Crystal Maiden is there. Uh, Crystal Maiden level two is probably one of the best, if not the best, level two supports or hero in general and, and the game at level two. Um, so. Early game yeah, is what's lacking for Warlock and Alchemist to a certain extent. I like the CM pick too. I actually just like CM in general, but there's this lingering thought that if this game, if this Weaver ever gets some sense of farm, the CM's just gonna be food. Yeah, just like, food. That's the thing about CM. She becomes pretty burstable and. Timber, Lena, you know, they can all kind of easily kill her, except for maybe Shadow Demon, he might have a little, have to do some extra work, but, yeah, uh, they're going to need a strong start if they're going up against the Negro, oh no, wait, wait, oh, uh, no, they're not going aggressive tri lane, it seems. Yeah, it looks like they're not going to, uh, the Bears, they want to just farm up just a little bit, either way, uh, I mean, it's possible they could have been playing some mind games, and they were like, oh, they're going to try to dodge us, so we're going to try to go for, or go after their dodge, you know how it goes, kind of like that rock, paper, scissor. Uh, things uh, but anyways the mid matchup it's going to be Razor and OD this should be pretty straightforward matchup I mean I don't think Razor completely stomps the lane um, but I don't think OD actually loses it. it kind of it almost seems like it just breaks even honestly I don't think OD ever loses mid in my opinion because of course you know a Razor still gonna be able to get CS but OD, once he gets level 6, he can still kill you with his ultimate. You're still going to have minus, you know, intelligence compared to him. 
So he still has the capability of killing you, and if that happens, then you're going to lose the lane. It's just ideally that uh, someone like Razor can handle CSing against OD. Alright, and so we go ahead and watch this. It's going to be the darks here, and we'll, I don't know, is this lane survivable for him? It, it looks like it. If he can... Uh, the Shadow Demon, if, if he's patient enough to get the disruption right after the Surge, but he actually chooses to go Ion Shell level 1. Uh, I don't think they're going to get a kill on this unless they get the perfect block, uh, but they don't. Uh, it was, I think they were going to go for that block around here where you seal them off the illusions. And it's possible you could right click them, but uh, it, it's more of just a harassing. Yeah, they, Darkseer should be fine. Like, Weaver doesn't really have this big burst of damage, so he should be pretty set on uh, living this trial. He can stay, but I mean, I don't see him maybe getting levels. He'll keep getting zoned out. And against this Timbersaw, I, I really think they can actually kill him if they get the perfect Fatal Bonds, uh, you know, at level 1 or so, and actually they get the D-Ward. A very nice job from the Warlock. Um, but if you get like Fatal Bonds on about 2-3 creeps and Timbersaw is hit as well, uh, and you get the Unstable Concoction and you know Crystal Maiden level 2, I think this could be an easy kill for them. Yeah, actually uh, I think um, I think they could basically kill him now. Like if they wanted to, they could definitely kill him now because he is level 2 now. And But I also think that they would have to... There's also this... Uh, they could risk you know, attempting to burst him and maybe not achieving it, or they could wait till he tries to timber chain and stun him because it stops it now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, but that would require some like really good timing. So it's it depends if they think they can burst him or not. Yeah, we we'll see how it goes. Um, but the oh, they're gonna make a go right now. He's not gonna timber chain. He's saving it just for another day. Um, but uh, you know the, the creep wave is pushed towards him. He will get a lot of levels in this. Uh, looking at his skill build, a bit interesting. Um, well, I guess is this a standard build? I I typically think it's like you know one in timber chain and like a bunch in reactive armor until about maybe level yeah. five. It maybe he wants to just like make them think twice about going on him like he still has more damage like maybe that's his like thought process on it and it's not bad I mean there's really no terrible build on timber as long as you still max reactive armor first <clears throat> and oh they use they timed it just right good job uh, BAT and he, they're gonna get the first blood on the timber saw and this is what we were talking about although he actually didn't go for any levels in fatal bonds he just he, he actually went level one shadow word on the warlock I actually don't think that was bad because the timber, the timber saw was doing a very good job staying far back, uh, so it would it would have been difficult to get a, a full fatal bonds onto him. Yeah, uh, shadow ward used to be pretty terrible because it would only heal like for like ten at level one, but now <laughs> since it's uh, fifteen, it does about like at least like a good like one twenty or like one hundred. Before it would just do like ninety. So oh, there is a lucky regen rune. For this uh, warlock, and and that's the problem with uh, early warlock. He also suffers pretty heavily mana wise, and uh, he's just gonna go harass this timber saw. Timber saw. Oh, he's in a bit of trouble. Another alchemist son. Will they be able to kill him? I don't think so. They're just gonna back off. Throw a couple more right clicks on him, uh, and and that's about it. Disengage, and they're not gonna go for any pulls. This is a bit worrisome because warlock uh, again is like super he uh, super reliant on his ultimate. Yeah, they should definitely Warlock should definitely be pulling, but they're they're getting a little too focused on trying to kill Timber, but honestly they can because he's not maxing reactive armor. It seems like he's not wanting to put the points into it. He went two in a timber chain, so I think he's playing with fire a little bit by keeping it at level one. Yeah, I agree, especially with all this right click, he he, he should have gotten the levels in reactive armor. But in the middle let's check the CS, let's see. Uh, Razor's actually beating OD in CS right now. Yeah, like, it, that, well done for the Razor. Uh, but level 1, uh, Static Link is actually really, really strong. Razor is level 5 OD. What level is he? He's level 5 as well. Um, is there any solo kill potential once they hit level 6 over here? Mm, for Razor, if he gets the right rune. But he does for, have a haste rune. Um, oh, he's going to chase him down. He's going to try to dive. This OD disrupts himself. Shadow Demon as well comes around. They get the Soul Catcher. Well done. Some of that mind games. Dark Series here, but he's only like level one. Yes, he's only level one. Uh, OD will go down. He might try to 
turn on for the shadow demon but oh disruption interesting disruption i have to say um but he's just gonna back out now lena it was, is in the disruption was a misclick click he got fogged um, but um yeah the od definitely should have disrupted brazer over himself yeah that that probably would have been, been was, reckless. It was a little premature, because even if he disrupted, Razor could still wait there and kill you. I mean, there's no way you were getting out of that one. Yeah, for sure. Well, I mean, uh, Dark Seer, this is a bit troublesome, uh, since he got zoned out so hard in lane. He's only level 1, has to go to the easy camps, and he's already taken a, an ass load of damage, actually. Uh, he should be able to finish this just barely. Yeah, he, he will get out just fine. Actually, he has 800 gold in the bank. Uh, what does he go for? Early Sol Ring? Uh... I guess he doesn't have to go for the mech because OD could go for it, uh, or OD can just go for a quick four staff. The only problem is if the Darkseer decides to go for mech, it will be a very late one. Yeah, I mean, well, actually, no. If he if he went straight for it now, he probably could get it by like eleven ten minutes. Eleven like ten minutes. Keeps, well, he said to buy boots, so like no, like yeah, if he stayed in jungle, like you can make about that like fifteen hundred that he needed at the time, but. He went, he got some boots, so I think he's gonna want to stay top now. Alright, so Darkseer is gonna try to go uh, against this Poke Bunny, and Poke Bunny has like five levels on this guy. He's just gonna dive him. He just does not give a shit. Uh, he has his ulti. He actually doesn't have his ulti. He might have to tread switch. No, he's not. He's not gonna go for it. Crystal Maiden comes to the backside. Poke Bunny, I don't think, is in trouble quite yet, uh, but he is He is probably feeling a bit of pressure. He can just zone out this Darkseer. Oh, Darkseer, really scared. Really, really scared. No, they're gonna. he's gonna dive him right now. Another click from the Gemini attack. Easy kill. OD actually gets picked off as well in the top lane. <clears throat> yeah, CM should definitely have walked up to Darkseer to at least make it so Weaver wouldn't do that. Like, because if she did, then she would have got frostbit by the tower and probably maybe got killed. But she was like waiting around like this, like this area. Oh, here, hold on. Yeah, this area right here. So. Yeah, you're right, and actually, right. he wants to go for the solo kill on Poke Bunny. Poke Bunny's gonna get out just fine. CM, uh, taking taking some damage there. Uh, Weaver, yeah, had, had he saw he used the um, time lapse. No, was time lapse used for that to escape? Actually, wasn't sure. And uh, good sell from Delina. Great support, Poke Bunny. I'm sure is a happy guy. Yeah, Timber definitely like. Decided not to put any more into reactive armor, it seems. He just started putting points into his other uh, nuke. Yeah, well, suddenly you have like really bad fee uh, feedback. Is there any way you can fix that? Uh, I'll check. <clears throat> uh, well, anyways, if we go ahead yeah, and fine. take. Yeah, that sounds way, way, way better. And uh, looking at the EXP graph, the bears are leading in that category. A belt. Oh my gosh, solo kill. This Timber Soldier solo killed this Alchemist, and while I was looking at the grabs, um, look, I was kind of there. Um, but anyways, uh, 4,000 gold, 4, 000, way over, well, 4,000 EXP for the Bears, and uh, gold, not well, it's about 3,000. And this is a really big early game lead. It's only 8 minutes in, and they're struggling against this Weaver. Weaver gets another pick off on the CM in a top lane. Yeah, this, uh, this Weaver's definitely got a lot of space. A little too much space. And that's gonna cost them a yeah, he, lot. And he's gonna it's get a little, a little surprising. He's gonna get a very early. Timber. Yeah, he's gonna get a very early Lincoln Sphere on this Weaver, and uh, once he has it, I he might be unstoppable because, I mean, they have a couple single targets, but like the few hard stuns that they have, it's just gonna get it's just gonna get even harder to lock down this po uh, this Poke Bunny Weaver. Yeah, they have a most of their lockdown is single target. Except for maybe the mini stun on vacuum, but you wouldn't really look at that as like a or the warlock gold, yeah, that too. But you're gonna be blocking just about every other nuke. The disrupt by, I mean, the imprisonment by OD, the stun by Alk, and oh, the there's gonna be a disruption. Rock. Bot lane, yeah. warlock gets caught out trying to jungle just a little bit. Soulcatcher doesn't land. I don't think it matters. He gets bursted on. Fatal bonds is there. Actually, Alchemist, if he gets a stun, they can get a kill here. But they're gonna just back up. They're a bit scared. I, I think they could go. Uh, because oh shadow demon caught out he's just blocking the camps once again uh, but no they're choosing not to go up there uh, alchemist is, is wanting to farm because he didn't go really for that battle alchemist build he went for a lot of early levels in grievous greed 
Oh, yeah. disruption he soul catcher actually lands right here. Alchemist doesn't have his chemical reach. He's going to stun himself. Oh no, he somehow throws it. Does get the kill on the timber soul? Uh, timber soul overstaying his welcome just a tad bit yeah. as Crystal Maiden get, gets the the really nice frostbite. <clears throat> Yeah, that was a good that was a good uh frostbite on her part, but also Lena was like behind them when they attempted that, so she didn't get her stun off, so that's why Timber dived in and kind of died, because I guess uh, he thought Lena was gonna be able Oh to they're gonna up. make a go on this Crystal Maiden and uh Grand Dukes of Owls. Way, way too far out. But well, see him getting the kills right now. CM grinding kills, and this is this is exactly what CM is good for. Early game roaming, uh, trying to create some space, and they're getting back into this game just a little bit, uh, a little bit of over aggression, a little bit of mistakes from the bears, and uh, some tide hunters coming back. Yeah, there's like a four thousand gold lead, I think, on the bear side, but it looks like it's going to be coming back up. <clears throat> yeah, the Greville's greed will start kicking in pretty soon. Uh, Weaver, of course, still really fat. She will have that Lincoln Sphere very, very uh, quick. This might be one of the most farmed Weavers I've seen, at least in RD2L. Uh, treads already. Uh, got the Ring of Aquila. Got the Perseverance. We'll have the Point Booster. And after that, it's just a recipe. Yeah, she's definitely getting a lot of farm, but I honestly think that uh, Darkseer, like, oh, I guess he's getting decent farm top, but he'd probably be getting better farm in the jungle. He won't be getting the levels, but farm-wise... He'd definitely be getting better CS because Weaver's gonna keep contesting him here. So I don't know if it's ideal to keep him here unless they just want to stop the tower from falling. Yeah, it looks like that's what he wants to do because Weaver could take this tier two pretty easily. And uh, oh, she, he's thinking about diving this Darks here. Uh, meanwhile, mid lane, we watch, we look at the Razor and OD. Uh, Razor is his his farm's not very good, and that's to be expected. He's been getting ganked constantly, and again. Has already one up here, and a, a pair of smoke supports looking to go and see him already in the back lines to support the OD. Razor has a bit better farm. Looks like he's he's wanting to go for those drums. Uh, does have the HP to go dive this OD if he wants to, uh, but ooh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, a pause does occur. Uh, it's not a competitive game unless there's a pause, and luckily it's a quick go. Yeah, the the OD's having a really hard time because he's getting a lot of pressure. That's the one problem with OD. Like if you gank him a lot, like he doesn't have much of a way out unless he just makes a perfect like imprisonment. Yeah, on he, he either the it. enemy or himself. Okay, they're gonna make a go. Oh, Razor gets fogged, so the static link breaks up. Uh, OD turns back. CM is there. She reveals the fog on Alina. Uh, they know they're there. They're not gonna. They're choosing not to pursue this. They have this excellent ward, uh, so they see o uh, Razor thinking about going in. Uh, they're all backing up, even to their tier two. They're just so scared. Yeah, the the dire definitely controlling the most of the map right now. Like, uh, I think that the supports on the radiant side are definitely gonna have to get some sentries up because they they need to know whether or not they have they're getting seen or un like getting seen on the map. Yeah, so how many smokes did they have? Actually, that was their last smoke for the Dire side. Uh, so ganking will be significantly harder. Though they do have, I mean, just a one tower advantage. Uh, so far, the Radiant have all their smokes, but they don't really have the ganking supports. Uh, only Crystal Maiden, but uh, even then, uh, only gankable lane is bot lane. Yeah, the... It's funny, because I would think that they would be able to check whether or not Timber had, you know points in armor like they would consistently hit him and see where max is out because he's he, he, they should be able to kill him like consistently since he doesn't have any more points into it his regen is like lacking right now but i guess they're really focused on getting this alchemist just farm with the max greed well actually he maxed the conco concoction now over greed yeah, I mean, he's leaving that last point there. Uh, probably not that important to him. Uh, he does finish his sh uh, Shadow Blade. It's 13 and a half minutes in. Uh, I mean, the thing is, if you get the Shadow Blade, you should probably go ganking. Oh, no, this creeps all him. Uh, but Crystal Maiden is there waiting for the timber, timber Chain. Uh, Alchemist, throw it. Why didn't you throw it? I guess, I guess he was just too far in. Yeah, that's a little odd because he, I think five seconds in, he had vision and... All the duration and damage maxes out at 5 seconds. 
<laughs> I think so, he got greedy. I'm not sure. I think he got greedy. Yeah. Wanted to come out of the shadow blade, get that bonus damage, and Razor is here now. They're all just going to back. There's no way they're going to kill the alchemist because he does have shadow blade, a crystal maiden, throwing out a, uh, a crystal nova just for precaution in case they choose to chase. Uh, but one hero we haven't checked up on in a while is Pogabunny. Oh boy, this Weaver, 2,600 gold. Uh, that's Lincoln's, isn't it? It's Lincoln's. Yeah, um, no, it's for his, he got enough for his orb, but he still needs the recipe. Oh, okay, you're you're right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I said point boost early on, um, but I, I'm just being sl oh, slightly retarded. But I mean, now I mean, Darkseer I think isn't kind of in a safe place. He's not going to die, but he, he's getting a lot of levels. He's level eight now. Um, once he gets level nine, probably looking to put some levels into his uh, wall of rec replica. And is that the time for them to go? Um, I'm not sure. I think they want a BKB on Al before they start going completely 5v5s which is a little confusing to me because he got the shadow blade which I like but at the same time I don't see any openings for the shadow blade really because this weaver is about to get his Lincoln so ganking him is going to be a pain unless you can pop it and even if you pop it he probably knows something's up ganking middle the supports have been middle like the entire time so it's going to be tricky on what they're going to I try to do. Yeah, well, Struzer, uh, Crystal Maiden is level 7. Wow, that's a high level support. Because, uh, you know, sometimes when I play support, I don't get level 6 until like, uh, I don't know, 18 minutes in. And I, that's absolutely terrible. I know, but that's because I'm a terrible player. Uh, Warlock has his ultimate. That's the big deal. Um, he only has enough to drop the ultimate. He doesn't really have enough for Fatal Bonds. So he has to pick wisely. Invis Rune on the Razor. They see everything. Are they going to make a go on this? There's four dire heroes, but they definitely either need to just wipe them hard or uh, take this tower or both. And actually, they're going to link them up. There's no way they can kill them. A razor doesn't have any detection, so a bit of waste on that ulti. Uh, instead, I think he's just going to clean up the creep wave and secure a tower. It's not a terrible trade at all because Weaver has occupied two heroes yeah. top. They got the courier and the tower. Oh, they did get the courier? Oh, wow. Where did... Yeah, he... He brought the he brought the alchemist brought the courier to himself while he was losing damage and Razor basically like two shot it. <laughs> uh, I wish I wish I had seen that. I mean, I guess my camera might have picked it up, but I I wasn't paying attention. Uh, but Weaver, there we go. Lincoln Sphere. This is sixteen minute, uh, seventeen minutes. Lincoln Sphere, guys. <laughs> Won't see it much faster than this, guys. <clears throat> Yeah, you definitely don't want to give uh And actually, they're going to go space. bottom onto the Timber Salt. Timber Salt might die. Yes, there's a Fatal Bonds as well. Rock gets dropped out. OD actually drops his ultimate as well. They're going to go chase after this Lena. Lena, they're in trouble. They already threw down all their AoEs. Are they really going to separate and chase? Yes, they're going to chase the Razor. Crystal Maiden is there. She needs to be a tidbit careful. Is Alchemist there? Alchemist is so low. They do somehow kill him. Crystal Maiden even pops out the ulti just in case shit gets real. They, they kill three. Yeah, that was that was good for them. That was really good for them. See, I managed to farm those creeps too in the process of that ultimate. So she's getting rich. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's rich. But, um, nice ward right here. They're gonna have a Weaver problem. Yeah, pretty soon when problem. Weaver decides to join in on the fights. As soon as Poke Bunny decides to start diving, I mean, twelve hundred gold in the bank. Uh, Poke Bunny could go for a Desolator and just just wreck some shit. Yeah, getting she could get him I and he could get Deso, but um. I was also debating whether he could be able to oh, no. uh, but uh, did, if you wouldn't be able to get the Radiance, Crystal like, that would be uh, okay. pretty spectacular. Yeah, radi Ooh, Radiance would be pretty funny. Um, can he farm it quick enough? I don't know. Actually, Poke Bunny might be in trouble. They have no detection. How do you not have detection? Oh, very, very, very late yeah, Sentry Ward. Yeah. Need to do that a little bit earlier, Poke Bunny. Uh, that they catch him right there. He's gonna. He has. Oh, well, he has plenty of mana to run away. He even could time lapse if he chooses to. The dire supports are there. They even grab a tier one tower. Excellent trade. They might lose a shadow demon. Possibly no, because uh, Warlock and OD do not have their ultimates. They don't want to fight quite yet. Yeah, the sentry was a little late. They possibly could have killed him, but he still had time lapse, and Lincoln's gonna be up in like three or four seconds, I believe. So he probably would have been fine, but yeah, I'm interested to see what the Weaver will probably buy. I, I, he I can buy whatever he wants. I want to see him go man mode Divine Rapier. That'd be absolutely hilarious. 
honestly, if you bought a rapier, he would be fine. I think he'd be fine. I I like, don't. Definitely, I don't see him dying if he gets one. Yeah, I don't. I don't see him dying either. Um, but <clears throat> okay, so I'll go ahead and take a peek at the graphs. Uh, in terms of exp, exp the bears did lose a bit of their advantage. It's only twenty five hundred um, for the gold. It's it's still going down, but that's mostly the tower gold at this point because uh, because they lost a pretty big team fight. This is a this is an interesting game so far. I can't really tell who's gonna win this, but <clears throat> I would give the Dyer the advantage right now, in the sense that Weaver is just getting whatever he, Weaver wants. Yeah, and uh, well, there's that feedback and coming from you once again. Is there any way you can do it? stop that? Yeah, there we go. Um, so that sounds much better. Dark Seer uh, gets caught out by the swarm. Uh, Weaver is there. She wants to just go yellow. She she probably could, um, but she's going to kill the Crystal Maiden. Possibly drops the sentries. If if Crystal Maiden trades her life for this, uh, it will be very well worth it. But Timeless isn't even baited out quite yet. Oh my gosh! Look at that. Look at that. He's going one v four basically. Alchemist is going to stun himself because uh, Weaver jukes him in the forest. <clears throat> but Od uh, four steps himself forward, trying to get a disruption off. Pokebunny trying to retreat. He still has the time lapse. Time lapse is backwards. Oh my gosh! The ulti gets popped as well. Pokebunny might be in trouble. The two four supports are there. Uh, look Gonna blade oh, is gonna go out. They're gonna maybe kill the dark side. I don't know. Pokemon is still still alive. They're not gonna kill the guy ever. Uh, Od is actually the first to die, Darkster as well. <clears throat> and yeah, you're right. They just can't kill him. <laughs> Absolutely cannot kill him. That, um, if they decided to kill the supports that were bonded to him and Razor, they probably would have killed him. Yeah, probably. But they got a bit greedy. They yeah, do get they a return kill. Yeah, they do get a return kill. Razor staying around a bit too long. Oh. Also, CM did not die in that engagement with Weaver. Yeah, Actually, somehow, like somehow. They will get away. another return kill. A Shadow Demon will die. Crystal Man. Oh, nice LSA. Alchemist will chase. He does have enough for an unstable concoction. I uh, will charge it up. Lena does, has enough for a stun. She gets this perfectly. No, Alchemist will back up because Timbersaw is there. Yeah, the Weaver is going for a Desolator. If you look at the, the career, he seems to have a uh, mindset on that. And that should probably mean that Crystal Maiden is not going to live next engagement with Weaver. <laughs> I'm pretty certain that means that uh, uh... you're not going to get lucky again. And yeah, my mic seems to like hate me because like, the volume goes up randomly and then I have to change it. Yeah, so yeah, I, I hope maybe we can get that figured out uh, in the next game. Uh, but you know, Alchemist, he, he's still farming. He's only died once. Uh, he's he's been in a lot of engagement, not eight of the nine kills, and that's what you want from your carry to farm and to fight at the same time. Yeah, Alchemist has been doing pretty well, but he's like around 60 CS behind Weaver, so he's gonna need to start stepping that farm up. Yeah, for net worth, he's about uh well, about almost like one and a half k away. Can't do mental math, so. Uh, don't don't trust me on that. I just know it's more than 1,000. Yeah, no, 1,700 away actually. 1,700 uh, gold behind the Weaver. Timber, I think, finally finished his blood zone. I'm not sure if he just got it. I think he had it that last fight. I'm, I'm not positive, uh, but. I mean, considering the Timber Timber Soul offlane had a terrible start, uh, got only one level of reactive armor. This isn't too shabby. Yeah, he's doing pretty well, like 20 minutes or so, like Bloodstone's not terrible. The Radiant, there, they have to stick up, stick as 5 now. Uh, and this is where the Weaver really starts to shine, because he's so farmed, and because of the pickoff potential from this dire side. Uh, oh, oh, they're gonna go on Alina, LSA is good, just gonna hit the OD Disruption on the Crystal Maiden, they actually vacuum them backwards, they blow up one support, they will get the second support, Timber so is like, uh, fuck this shit, I'm gonna try to get out of here, yes, he will get out, and, oh no, what's he thinking, uh, he should've cut over here, then Timber Chain over here, but I think this might be his, his death, he's gonna try to Timber uh, Chain, get stunned up 
Uh, will die to right clicks. I don't know. Razor is there. He's a bit scary. Crystal made an ulti as well. There's that last one. Rocky even popped. Uh, they won't get the kill. Oh, four staff disruption. Razor, I think he's dead. But man, that lightning storm doing so much damage. He does get the kill. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That damage. Yeah, that fight cost them because Warlock decided not to use his ultimate while CM was ulting. Which kind of, uh,. Kind of lets him die a lot quicker than she probably wanted to. And I, four v five engagement. Uh, the team with the big ultis used their ultis, but it uh, and they still lost it. Uh, Poga Bunny meanwhile is was pressuring that tier three tower. Gets plenty of farm. Oh my! Oh oh, that was ugly. That was ugly. What's the point? Yeah, man? the desolator is gonna. Pokemon. Desolator is just gonna do whatever. Yeah, <laughs> he's just gonna do whatever Desolator does and just destroy them. Yeah, absolutely destroyed and ate alive this OD. I didn't even stand a chance. I think died in a couple, like a handful of clicks, a handful of right clicks. And well, I mean, I this this dire side. I think they should just force it once again. I mean, warlock ulti down, uh, OD ulti down, crystal maiden ulti down. It, it, well, will be up soon, but uh, I just I don't know. This this high ground. If they try to defend this, it, it could be difficult. They'll at least lose the tier two. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to defend. Also, I just realized that Timber and uh, Alk have about the same CS. It's a little surprising that that occurred. Yeah, I mean, Timbersaw was know. left largely alone after the two supports uh, went to go protect mid. And, and it's not been working out, Crystal Maiden. Needs to be careful. They do spread out Shanana. Uh, they won't get the kill. Alchemist will stun up this Lina. Lina looks to be dead. Pretty dead, Lina. Uh, good pick off. Good pick off. CM's been getting all the last hits, man. And look at that. Yeah. Tier 3 falls, and oh, they're just so scared of the guy. Who can take care of them? No, OD, I've seen this movie before. If you stay around, you will die. Uh, but no, they do chase off the Weaver. Still probably, has time lapse, though. Probably could have killed OD if you wanted. He had time lapse. I think yeah. he just wanted I, to play it safe. Yeah, I think I think he very well could have. Um, I mean, Weaver 5 0 and 2. Uh, Desolator 30 uh, 800 gold. They're going to make a go. Poke Bunny getting a bit gritty. He will time lapse out of that. But I think he's going to pay with his life. Maybe, yes. Uh, he can't 5v. 5v1 quite yet. Uh, Alchemist picks up the kill. Uh, nice pick off for them. Poke Bunny. Well, I, I guess he got cocky. Hasn't seen. Uh, has been basically going PVE for a long time. And and like yeah, the Alchemist. The Alchemist getting a lot from that. Like that's like a good amount of gold that he got. That's a that's mega kill streak. Want to give him a mega kill streak? He will stun himself. Uh, 2100 gold in the bank for him. Uh, what does he go for next? Uh, it looks like he's gonna go for. I believe a butterfly, because he has an eagle song on the courier. Oh, he has an eagle song on the courier? Really? Really? I mean, he could go for E-Blade if he wants to be baller, but... Oh, no, I don't... No, that's... I, don't know I think that's Poke Bunny's. E Where, where's the... Yeah, it's Poke Bunny's eagle song. Um... Yeah. He'd probably be going for butterfly. Okay, yeah, I, I was talking about the alchemist, but... Oh, they do stun up the... Uh, Razor Razor has BKB. He pops it as well. Alchemist trying to man fight. Right click him down. I think Razor will die here. Oh no, the damage is gone now. Uh, Alchemist on the run. Ultimate from the Warlock is there. Uh, LSA is there. A oh, Luna Blade as well, but it actually does no damage. Timbersaw is trying to wreck shit up in the middle of everybody, but he gets stunned up. Uh, he might get right click down. Ulti doesn't connect on the Warlock. Warlock does die. Timbersaw is a trade there. Uh, Lina. Lena gets disrupted. Razor is back in. Uh, he's a bit low. They do kill the Darks here. Disruption on to the OD. OD trying to run. He's got his four staff. I don't like that four staff. I think he should have gone over here. Didn't four staff downward, uh, but I don't think it matters. <clears throat> yeah, that Warlock ultimate. It didn't stun anyone. He got he got it off, but it didn't hit anyone. Yeah, it hit absolutely and... nobody. And uh, Razor gets out fine. And uh, another bad trade uh, for this um, STH side. Weaver came in and cleaned up just about everything, and he also got the Warlock Golem, which is a good like 150 for him. So he's just racking up the money right now. And look at that Poke Bunny. He, what does he have already? He spent something. Uh, he, where's his Eagle Song? Huh? There we go. Is that still on the courier? He card? has it on the courier still. <laughs> it's still I on think the he's courier. He's trying to like keep it secret. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he's probably trying to keep it secret. 
That'd be good. Uh, Kazakuma still has that chance he could go for the MKB. He, he's choosing to go to AC. AC will be nice. And uh, trying to stop some of that minus armor from the Weaver. Um, but hey, meanwhile, I mean, uh, let's let's do a checkup. I mean, Timbersaw actually chooses to go Boots of Travel. This is pretty interesting. Uh, what do you think about this? I, I like it, um, but at the same time, um, well, I don't know. <laughs> I think uh, I think Boots of Travels are like the only boots that are like legitimately good on Timber after you get Bloodstone. Treads aren't. Eh, they're like I guess if you want a little more HP, but they're definitely the best boots I think on him. I guess I I if you, I can't remember if he went for mana stone or uh, mana and boots or not. And actually, he misses that timber chain. He might be or yeah, he misses timber. No, did he hit it? Actually, I don't know because uh, he was stunned up. Regardless, Alchemist does throw out the sun on the shadow demon. Shadow demon will be fine. Weaver, meanwhile, doing what Weaver does. Vacuum, not really into a good wall, uh, but oh gosh, Weaver picks off another hero. Look at that damage! Just one right click, two clicks uh, from the Gemini attack, and Alchemist already losing basically half, uh, not half, but a lot of his health. Yeah, I think you're just four shot warlock. Yeah, his damage is just nothing to sneeze at. 160 plus 70, and of course that's not taken into account with the Desolator damage. Yeah, this uh, this Weaver getting out of hand is definitely not something they probably wanted. But at the same time, they did not take it. They're, like, the Radiant team had a really big opening with that Timber. But I don't. I guess they chose not to kill him as often as they probably could have. Yeah, and there goes your mic. Uh, I guess it just upped your volume randomly again. <laughs> and yep, there it goes. And nice to have you back. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, anyways. I need to figure out what that is. Yeah, anyways, I think I think I mean STH. Some tight hunters. I they still have a shot of coming back. Uh, yes, it's we've been kind of speaking like it's doomsday for them. Uh, but they do have the AOB, AOE wombo combo. They get if they get it down perfectly, uh, that's a one team fight, and they're back into this game. Yeah, that definitely could happen, but I think the uh, the Dire are going to keep forcing Weaver on this Rax, so they might not find the team fight. They might just get, like, Rat dota Yeah, they could just get Rat dota And actually, they're going to go on that uh, disruption. Is there sentry? Again, no sentries. They don't even have dust. Uh, no detection. But the CM is really poor. I, I, feel, I feel her pain. Not being able... Oh, Warlock. Oh, man, that was ugly. Uh, bot lane. Yeah, the Weaver has a butterfly. Yeah, there's, this is an Ag Razor. They're just gonna. Oh, oh my gosh! It's going down so quickly. And oh, what they do land on too? This is the opening that they needed. They're just gonna pop all their ultis right now. Shen Shenana is in trouble. Will go down as well. But Weaver is probably worth lurking on a Rax top lane. Yes, top Rax has gone down. Pokemon easily gets uh, picks that up. And I guess they'll know in game two. They'll probably have to bend out the Weaver. All is not lost though. Uh, Rad Dota is uh, winning them the game so far, but it's not exactly Rad Dota. It's because they had such a good early start that were that they're in this position. Yeah, the Weaver is just gonna keep taking all the openings his team gives them. Yeah, and Butterfly, Desolator, Lincoln's twenty-five thousand, uh, twenty-five hundred gold. Ah, it's he's and and in ages he's not killable. It's just absolutely not killable. Yeah, he's definitely not and. This just comes back to his team is like not only was he like able to just get his farm right, but his team gave him so much space, you know. So like, as much as it looks like he, you know he did it all himself, you know his team did a lot for him. Yeah, created the space needed like, for him to farm. Up everything. Yeah, created the space. Yeah, space needed. creators. <laughs> sometimes you gotta you gotta feed to space create sometimes, man. Yeah, I understand that. I'm a, I'm a support. I feed I feed ninety percent of my games, um, but I, Timbersaw even picks up a Shiva's guard. Uh, this will be very well. I mean, if if we thought game was going to be any easier, just got a lot harder for uh, this radiant side, and they're going to have to hope for uh, one last amazing team fight. Uh, Warlock, this still have his ulti and fatal bonds combo. Actually, opted not to go for any levels for upheaval, but I guess that makes sense because you're not going to stand still for that long. They're going to go on a Poke Bunny. Not the right choice. They just pop the Aegis. Warlock ulti is there. Where's the Fatal Bonds? Fatal Bonds, where are you, my man? I'm uh, not there at all. He does. It does land on three razors. Just going to pop this uh, pinata of the OD Crystal Maiden as well. We'll go down buyback from the OD, but it won't matter. Uh, it doesn't have his ultimate quite yet. And ah, oh, jeez. 
Jeez. Well, I mean, uh, Razor at least goes down. Uh, still, Alchemist is dead. This looks to be GG. Um, but, oh, Shadow Demon actually falls as well. OD's damage is not something to laugh at quite yet. Uh, another excellent vacuum. Lena's a bit in trouble. They will throw that out. They're not going to kill the Lena. Oh, that was very close. Actually, Weaver just going to town. Goodbye, OD. Uh, we've seen, it, seen this before, but this yeah. Weaver is just too fat. Too fat. Yeah, this is definitely GG. Because, like, the moment that Timber is kind of, like, progressing with items almost as much as your carry is, then that's a very, very, you know, bad, bad situation. <laughs> place to be in. Yeah, and so Timber has probably more items than their mid does and their other offlaner, so... Yeah, a, a bit of a mistake as well. Was pretty stacked. Yeah, all, all smiles. I, I mean, not hating on him or anything, but he definitely could have put his fatal bonds on the heroes before he had, he dropped his ultimate. If he had had the fatal bonds there, those three heroes are right here. If you remember the vacuum wall combo, they were actually very low. If the if if they had the fatal bonds on them, they would have definitely died. And maybe maybe no. that would have been nice. No, he did. He actually had the fatal bonds on them. He had fatal bonds on Timber, SD, and uh, Lena, but they just didn't die. No, no, he didn't put the fatal bonds until after the ultimate. Oh, you mean before? Oh, I mean, well, yeah, I mean, possibly he could have gotten the kills, but I think the they should be more worried about the core. Like, because this Weaver just went in their base and did it whatever it, want, whatever it wanted. Yeah, basically. Well, I mean, Pokebunny, we've seen this before. Oh, he does have time lapse. Probably going to time lapse damage. Nope, just doesn't give a give a crap. Crystal Maiden ulti was there for sell for uh, basically. I don't know. For fun. <laughs> yeah, see, this is one of those situations that I like to look at as if you know who someone's strongest player is, you can stop them if you think if like you know if you believe in your team. Or you can just, you know, destroy the rest of his team and hopefully, you know, he doesn't get to do anything. Well, and I mean... It seems like they wanted to get... They gave him a lot of space and it did not work out for them. Yeah, absolutely did not work out for them. Uh, Pokebunny finished up his Daedalus and there we go. I mean, Throne Falls, they played out. <clears throat> and that's game one, guys. Uh, game one, they let the Weaver just farm too much and Weaver did Weaver things. Um, but... Uh, Anyways, I hope you guys join us for game two. Uh, I'm Sivak, and this is Jonah. Um, so we'll see you guys in game two.